Welcome back, Pouring Nation. Today we are going to review the DecoArt Pouring Medium. Now this pouring medium uh, runs about 63 cents per per ounce when you buy it in the 16 ounce. You can get it in a gallon and the price goes way down if you do that. So buy in bulk, you can get the price to go way down. Um, up front, this is an average pouring medium. It does some things really well, it does some things really poorly, but it's probably something that a beginning acrylic pour artist could have some pretty good success with. So as with all of my other reviews of acrylic pouring mediums, I took a sample of just the pouring medium, nothing else, and I let it dry. And as you can see, this has no bubbles. It's got some pretty good thickness. It's got some pretty good durability. In that regard, this is a great pouring medium when it's dry by itself. Now, for those of you that don't know, DecoArt is a craft paint that is in a lot of the hobby stores in the United States. You can buy this on Amazon, a bunch of other places, so it's readily accessible. And when I poured this pouring medium last week, this is the sample that we got. As you can see, the sheen there is kind of a semi-gloss, not quite gloss, but a nice semi-gloss. The white kind of disappeared with this. The dark colors took over. So I'm gonna not have white in my next pour. I'm just gonna use uh, these colors here. Um, it did work well with silicone and we're gonna use that again in this pour. So one thing that I did, I mixed all of these, pre-mixed all of these. It took a little bit longer than normal to mix. Now with this uh, particular mixture, it kind of flattens. It kind of has more of a uh, liquidy look. It's very similar to the previous pouring mediums that I've reviewed, which I'll show in the link below, in that it goes from very thick to very thin quite quickly. Now this one, when you add water, it takes a long time to, for water to integrate. You're almost better off putting more pouring medium in to dilute rather than pouring, putting more water in to dilute. I think that would work quite a bit better. So with these, we're going to put in with our secondary colors, we're gonna put one drop, well, two drops, that's about two ounces. Two drops of spot-on precision pouring oil. This is also spot-on treadmill silicone oil. Same stuff, different packaging. And with each of these, we're just gonna integrate that in for a second. Integrate that in for a second. I put my colors down here. Now I have about with this, I mix two parts pouring medium to one part paint. There's about 30 grams of pouring medium, sorry, 30 grams of paint, 30 to 60 grams of pouring medium, plus a little bit of water, depending on the thickness. So one to one, one to two, right in there for each of these. Um, I made a little bit extra of the green, and we're gonna put this down as, not necessarily a base coat, but we're gonna put about half of it down to start out with and we'll flip our cup on top of that. So, we're just gonna do these full and I think I want the yellow next. Now this cup here is a nine ounce cup. Uh, I have a 12 by 12 canvas. It's 144 square inches plus the 12 from the side or the, the 24, two sets of 12 from the side. So 168 square inches, divide that by 25 or 30 right in there. That gets you how much pouring medium you need, just a quick ratio. So I need about seven to eight ounces of paint. Now I'm gonna have slightly more because I don't want to over mix my paint with the silicone in it. 
So we are going to attempt wonder how much that's going to what we're going to do here so we're just going to stretch this out good so my battery up and died there sorry about that so as you can see this has only been sitting for a second but look how thick it got in that second that it was sitting here that is one negative for this pouring medium it does thicken up really really quickly so i'm going to take my cup here Pop this down and flip that over quick. So you don't have a lot of working time with this pouring medium. One nice thing about filling your cup completely full when doing a flip cup is then the paint isn't traveling as much. It's not mixing as much, but the silicone will kind of creep up through. So you get that better effect and less muddiness, less color mixing. So we're just going to plop some of this in the corners really quick. Now another thing that I noticed with my previous pour is the colors mix no matter what. And if you want some good color differentiation, you either need to do something like I just did there or use different paints. One thing I didn't take into account, as you can see here, is how strong that that gray was going to be. And it's literally overpowering everything else. So I probably should have used half of the amount of gray that I used. But it does give us a good sample of how this pouring medium would work. Let's see if we can't bring up some of those silicone cells. Now if you notice the cells that I got from torching early are much bigger because they kind of widened out and had some time to grow. Any cells that I get from a late torch are going to be much smaller. So for the Decker Art Pouring Medium, uh, with my rankings I did 3 out of 5 for mix, dry, color, and cost. And just like the folk art pouring medium, this was average across the board. Three out of five for every single one of those stats. Some of the negatives are that it, it the consistency that I had was a little bit harder than other uh, pouring mediums to deal with. Some of the positives, it has a nice sheen, semi-gloss sheen. It works well with silicone, as you can see here. Uh, one other negative I had, it's really hard to get off your fingers once you get it on there. So, all in all, it's a decent pouring medium. There are better. This ranks 7 out of 11 for our acrylic paint pouring roundup that we did, which I'll link above. I've had some success. Here's the one from before. Not really a success, but a good evidence of how this pouring medium works. I've had some okay success here that I have, just an average pouring medium.